JavaScript just got map, filter, and take. Not for arrays, we already have those, but for iterators. Hi, I'm Bernard from betterstack.com, and in this video, I'll walk you through the new iterator helpers that just got merged into our beloved programming language, JavaScript. So in total, there are 11 methods that were added to the iterator. These are the drop, every, filter, find, flamma for each map, reduce sum, and take into array. You gotta like the video, that was a bar. Now before we begin, we have to understand that all of these methods are meant to be used with generators. And generators are created using this asterisk after the function. This lets you yield values, and you only get to access these values by using the dot next. So if we yield 1, 2, and 3, and we call next, we get 1. And if we call next once again, we get 2, and so on. So now that we got that out of the way, let's start with our first method, drop. This method lets you skip the first n items of an iterator. So let's say we yield 1, 2, 3, and 4, and if we drop the first two yielded numbers, we get, that's right, 3. Next up is the every. Just like with arrays, it checks if every item from the iterator passes a test. If all of the values pass the test, this method returns true. Otherwise, it'll return false. For example, here, this is going to give us false because 3 and 4 is not less than or equal to 2. Next up, let's take a look at filter. Just like the array version of filter, it removes items that don't match the condition that you set. So let's say we have a generator that yields numbers until infinity. We can use the filter method to only get the numbers greater than 10, 20, 30, or 40. Next is the take. This one is very useful, especially if we use the same example earlier. Like this generator again, like I said before, it's infinite. So we can use the take to take the first n items. So for example, we can take 5, and now if we use the dot next 5 times, we get everything. And if we call another dot next, it's going to give us undefined because we only limited the num to have 5 numbers. But the rest of the methods like map, find, sum, reduce, and for each, they work just like you'd expect from arrays. If you already know how those work, you already know how they work here. The only difference is they don't evaluate until you start pulling values using next. So for example, we use map and every x is multiplied by 2. So the first yielded value is 0 times 2 is 0. And we can see it here. And if I call another next, the next yielded value is 1 times 2. It should give us 2. And so on. Now one thing I'd like to talk about is chaining. You can actually chain all of these methods to transform data however you like. So let's use the same example, but here we'll drop the first 10 items. Then whatever the result of that first method, we use filter to keep only the odd numbers. And then we only take 5 from the result, and turn that into an array. Now generators or iterators are probably one of the most misunderstood features of JavaScript. Like why even use it when we can make arrays, right? But with the release of these helpers, they can definitely be used to write cleaner and more memory efficient code, especially when you're dealing with paginated data or infinite sequences. But what do you guys think? Are you going to start using iterators or generators thanks to these new methods? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. My name is Bernard and I will see you in the next one.